Welcome back and a happy old Friday. It is finally Friday. The weekend is here and it is going to be a good one. I know a lot of folks like to spend some time at the lake and outdoors on the weekend and this is going to be a pretty darn good one. We have some uh, summery weather coming up, especially on Sunday. Our heat index will likely climb well into the 90s on Sunday afternoon. Our high so far today, 73. Our average for this time of year, 79. We're now starting to see that average high slow drop a little bit and you know as we head toward Labor Day weekend I hate to keep bringing it up but you know, the inevitable is going to be happening eventually so get out and enjoy this while you can partly cloudy really nice here through the afternoon we have a sunny warm and humid weekend coming up and then a chance for a few scattered thunderstorms as we head into Monday Tuesday mainly late afternoon and nighttime could be a couple of isolated stronger storms early next week so keep your first alert weather app handy. It's a great way to stay in touch with anything that may happen. And then it will be a bit cooler and comfortable through most of next week. Here's a live view. A few mid-level clouds out there kind of filtering out some of the sunshine. Our temperature now at 73. The wind out of the south at 7 miles per hour. And it is a little muggy with that dew point climbing into the 60s. And we are going to see that humidity and those dew points gradually climb here as we roll into the weekend. Check out temps around the region. Glencoe at 70. Wyndham 79, Jackson 75 in Fairmont. Our temperature at 76. Wasika 73, Northern Iowa. A little cooler east, but once you get out a little further west toward Esterville and Spencer, we're in the upper 70s already here this afternoon. And the radar is clear after a few scattered showers earlier this morning. Most of that was north of Mankato, Glencoe, Hutchinson. A tiny little bit of rain from a trace to, I think we had one one hundredth of an inch in Hutch. A little earlier this morning. So here's the scoop. High pressure to our east. We actually have this system in the west sitting out of the Dakotas, but this system is going to hold steady and actually back up just a little bit as the warm air kicks in and uh, we're going to warm up. So we're not going to see much of that system until probably sometime early next week, but that will bring in a few scattered showers and thunderstorms through the day, often on clouds. And that's really about it as we take it into tonight. It'll be partly cloudy tomorrow, more of the same, partly cloudy again. With the increase in temperatures and the increase in humidity, there could be a couple of isolated showers and thunder showers as we make our way through the weekend. Few and far between, though, it's not going to be a real big deal. 80, our high today, 81 in St. James. We're going to get to 83 in Redwood Falls, Marshall, 85. We'll get into the low 80s along I-90 today as well. So a pretty nice day coming up here. Partly cloudy, mostly cloudy at times. Our high 80 wind out of the south, 5 to 15 is all on the wind today. Tonight, partly cloudy. Could catch an isolated shower toward morning in a few spots. Our low down to 64. And then as we head into the weekend, warm, becoming muggy. 83 Saturday, 88 on Sunday. Chance of showers and thunder showers Monday, Tuesday. And then cool and comfortable as we head through most of next week. That's what's going on. We're going to take a little break here. We'll be back right after this. This 10-day weather forecast is brought to you by Belter Window Siding and Roofing. B-O-E-L-T-E-R. Belter.